Alright, I think that's got it. I'm gonna get on here and double check. I'm pretty sure. And it is indeed. Alright. What's going on, everybody? This is Prophet of Woe. Here with a. Not my first playthrough, but I haven't played through the whole thing of Elden Ring. It's really popular. Dark Souls is really popular. As you can see, I've got four characters, one with a significant more amount of time in it than any of the others. But we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. And just see how far we get. Huh. I'm trying to think of what all ones I've done. I like to try and do one a different kind every time. The Prophet Samurai, Confessor. You know what? I haven't actually gone straight strength. That guy starts out with a dual wield setup. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a warrior. Not warrior. Yeah, warrior. Um. Let's go ahead and make it pop a little. Oh. Same things, all that. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, it's really nice to have healing flasks. If you're watching this, then you know, but why would you not take the golden seed? It's like an instant extra healing flask. Pretty sure I have favorites. Yeah, let's just throw on one of these. Like I said, I haven't beaten this one, but I've played... The only two Souls games that I've not beaten are Demon Souls and Sekiro. I've played and beat Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne. Um, I don't have all the endings for all of them, but I've gotten at least two endings on most of them. I'm actually I actually just started another... Dark Souls 1 uh, playthrough with a friend, and we're gonna do Dark Seeker Cath instead of Framped. Because I actually realized in lore that Gwyn is a huge butthole and <laughs> not very good. Kinda doomed humanity there, didn't ya? can't wait until people start, like, really fleshing out the lore of this, this game as well. This is gonna be nice. Don't mind me, I'm gonna look something up real quick, just to double check myself. Enjoy the opening cinematic.
Good to know. Oh, Elden Ring. I know that's not what he says, but <laughs> just remembering the the uh, teaser trailer that we got a few years ago. That we that was all that we had for years. I have not bought this guy yet. Or that guy. Wait, that's the chick who hugs you. I just realized that. Oh, I just realized that's a bunch of ears. I thought it was like chain mail or something the first. Man, I, I guess that just goes to show I'm like not really paying attention because all the lore is just like <laughs> Here's a list of people and they they turn bad go fight them, but oh. That's not really what happened this time It didn't help that the first time that I ever started this game I uh hadn't installed all the drivers that I needed for it, so it was like really glitchy. It had big boxes of black just everywhere all over the screen coming in and out of existence and not even like just this part, but like through the cutscene as well. And the cutscene was like also going at half speed. And I pre-ordered, so I got the, the ring, and I've been playing Dark Souls, so I'm going to be pressing jump a lot to uh, try and interact and pick stuff up. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's anything else in this room. Yeah, it's going to take me a second to uh, get used to the control setup again, switching between dual handing and whatnot. Going through fog gates, I'll be hitting jump and I have to get back in the habit of trying to I wonder where does he doesn't he just fall from the sky? Oh, no, he jumps in. Okay. From way out somewhere. I don't have any preconceived notion that I'm going to beat this guy. I just like to give it a shot every time. I don't like to just die for no reason. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the screen did damage. I'm not a, an amazing Dark Souls player by any standard. Like, I've seen no hit runs and torch only runs and broken straight sword runs and stuff. And I, I'm not terrible. Uh, and I've played a lot, so I've got like experience and I can kind of gauge situations. But I am not. Uh, Pro Souls gamer by any standard. I hope that the game audio is coming in alright. I guess if it's not, I'll have to redo this, but if it is, then you'll see me talking about it. That that's what's her name? 
Girl from the Grace. Yeah, yeah, that's her. I was like, it's not... Uh, Rana. Rana's the witch, right? With the two faces and the four hands. Like I said, it, the lore is fascinating, but uh, it's confusing to say the least. So don't crucify me if I get some stuff wrong or call somebody the wrong name or don't remember people's names or. <clears throat> Flask of Crimson Tears, Flask of Cerulean Tears, Cerulean, Cerulean, uh, that's what it looks like. Alright, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's right, I can sneak in this. The first time I played through this, I didn't even come down here, I didn't realize that was a thing. And I was also like super wary about falling because I played the other games as well and didn't realize how uh, giving the falling system was in it. It's very forgiving. But then it's also like not. <laughs> you've got a. You can fall a really long way, but you've also got a way smaller window where you get hurt as opposed to die. <laughs> So the first playthrough that I did, or the first time I played, um, I need to stop saying playthroughs, I haven't done playthroughs of this game. Um, first time I played it, I totally missed out on this area. And Sorry that I'm just skipping all of the things, like I said, I've played Souls games before, I've played this game before, I don't need the tutorial. And if you'd like, you can pause them, I'm sure, to read them, but who wants to read tutorials? Wait, can I not kick? What the heck? Oh wait, that's right, kick's like a, a weapon on the team. I forgot how much freaking endurance you have. You have so much. Ah. Yeah, coming off of playing, uh, playing Dark Souls, like, remastered, it's quite different, and... It'll take me some time to get used to it again. Oh, are you gonna stand break? Looks like he's not gonna stand break. So that tutorial enemy actually didn't do the thing that he was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, boy. First boss. Let's go, Godric Soldier. <laughs> that help. Oh. Alright. Probably didn't need that, but, you know. Better safe than sorry. Safe from what? The the stairs? The way up? Whew. Yeah, it's it's a lot more forgiving. You would have taken a lot of a lot of health damage and Dark Souls one for a drop that was that that far. I hope the frame rate is holding up. 
I've got a decent computer, but it's a laptop, it's not a desktop. So, uh, with running a second screen on top of the editing software on top of the game itself, it seems to be doing alright, but I haven't gotten out to <laughs> the world map yet, so can't quite tell. I'll probably do about hour-long episodes um, that would put I'm a lot faster at the beginning part now because I was like super exploring. It's so beautiful. I forgot how ridiculously gorgeous this game is. Um, the first time I played, I was obviously you know like. exploring a lot and trying to see every nook and cranny uh, but now that I kind of have a grasp of where a lot of the alright buddy you don't have to point it out to everybody <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but now that I have a grasp of where you know all the most of the plot points are in this early area I it, it shouldn't take me nearly as long that's why my first play uh, file has like 40 hours and I'm not even past what's his name? Radon? Yeah, I that's about as far as I've made it in this one. I beat Renala. Renala? Of the Full Moon? Yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's her name. I beat uh, Godric uh, I've explored a lot. I'm, I'm like at the Altus plateau, pla blah, plateau, but also I'm gonna be making light of names uh -uh, and stuff. So don't get mad at me if I call it the Atlas Plateau, just to be funny or um, Luernia. If I call it Lemuria, it's just a a running gag with me to myself. Okay, yep. Got the, uh, got it, got it. Oh, I forgot the, like, little ferret things. Or rabbits, or rabbit ferrets. What are these things? It's like a rabbit ferret. It's like a rabbit squirrel. I don't know. Some kind of rodent. that they would eat the crap out of everything in your garden. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Oh, I can't even. I need two. Huh. Yeah, again. Regular Dark Souls as opposed to later Dark Souls. I didn't mean to skip that last one. I'm trying to let the dialogue and cutscenes play. It's really just the, uh, the tutorials that I'm trying to skip. Because if you haven't played and you're on the fence and you want to see what the game's like or how someone who's not a get good fanboy plays it, then. Crap, I did it again. I gotta stop doing that. Okay. Um. <laughs> Because I didn't like the Souls games at first. I actually didn't really get into them until I played Bloodborne. I played like I played one 
when it, not as soon as it came out, but like, I think 2 was out. Um, no, Sacred Tear. And I played it on 360, and I got to Orenstein's Smoke, and gave up. I was like, no, this is, it's just, it's really punishing, it's very hard. Uh, like, I liked the realism aspect of it, because I like D&D, and I like uh, RPGs, so I was, like, really excited about that whole prospect of it, but I was also, like, I didn't know really how to play it, because I was putting lots of levels into stats that didn't need them, because I didn't know, uh, using weapons that were unupgraded, or uh, total opposite of what is good against different enemies, and again, I just, I wasn't aware. Um, and once I found out, like, oh, there's, you make builds, and y you have to put a lot of points into specific things for each specific build, and <laughs> you gotta upgrade your weapons, uh, it, uh, became a lot more accessible to me. Um, but I started playing Bloodborne, and I was like, wow, this is a really great game, blah, 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 and I played through most of it, or half of it, no, I think it was about most of it, and then I started playing with somebody else, and then we, we went back and we played through all of them, and uh, I really enjoy them now. So I, I was somebody who was like, eh, they're okay, and now I'm somebody who's like, ah, well, they're, they're great. Ouch. I'm noticing a little bit of frame rate, but it's, it's not bad, it's manageable. I say until I fight a boss. Not trying to act like me getting hit wasn't my fault, that was totally my fault, but... <laughs> I am noticing just a little bit of a frame lag. Also, if you see me looking this direction, it's because that's where my second screen is. So I'm like trying to gauge how it's looking and make sure that it, it's going all right. I don't kill the turtles. Don't worry, because they're pretty dogs, right? Does this one say dog? Oh God, okay. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't kill the turtles. Uh, I know that they give you stuff that you can use, but not my cup of tea. Isn't there a... Good lord, there's a lot of enemies here that I totally forgot about. Oh, there's a dog. There's another dog. Oh, Die, dog. What's, there was a sight of grace, like, right here. Something. lot stronger than the last one. I can't jump over that. What am I doing? Wow, can you not get into that area? Am I just now noticing that? Can you cut this thing down? No. Again. This is not... No, I guess you can't get in there. Or if you can, I mean, I'm sure you can get in with Torrent, but I don't have Torrent yet. I thought for sure that there was a Sight of Grace here. I know, they're just running and cowering in fear, but... Free souls! Don't you burn me? And burn you? I do have a torch. I should probably equip that, too. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about it. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay. 
Oh, and I have a shield, too. A little buckler. Well, that's... That's not a buckler. This is a little bit bigger than a buckler. Small shield. Trina lilies. Don't know why. I feel like those are important. It's not like they're the shibiri... Shibiri? Grapes? That are the eyeballs? That freaked me out, man. I can't do eye stuff. Like, I, I watch horror movies and whatnot, but eye stuff bothers me. Nope. Oh, that was close. Alright, dog. Overstage, you're welcome. <sighs> I am almost positive. That there is a side of grace here. And I'm not seeing it. And it's bugging me. And you guys are like, there's no side of grace here. What's he doing? He's such an idiot. Now I might be an idiot. But that's okay. People of varying intelligences are perfectly ah. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that I can jump, man. I didn't know there was a stone sword key in there. It's the first time I found that. So, uh, <laughs> other playthroughs, I'm gonna have to come back here and get that thing. Man, I spent, like, so much money on stone sword keys. Alright. Souls, runes. I'm gonna be using runes and souls interchangeably. I'm not gonna say blood echoes, because that's worse than just saying runes or souls, but... I called the blood echoes. You know souls too. Look out for the glowing skulls. There's another one. And there's another one right there too. Come on. There we go. Play that up. My mother used to tell me that I was always, when I was little, I was like, pennies are so useless. They're like, you know, they, it's a one, one hundredth of a dollar. And I remember something my mother always used to tell me was like, save them up, because you get a hundred of them, you get a dollar, and if you get a hundred dollars, you have a hundred dollars, like, you, you know, it's just one of those things you remember from childhood. There's a sight of grace. No, that's a message. Crap! Ah. Mushroom, mushroom. If you remember that, it's not even a meme, but if you remember what that's from, then crap, stop skipping the dialogue. Ah, uh, then you're old. And yes, I'm calling myself old, and I'm not really, but it's all for humor's sake. It's all for, because I, gotta be honest, uh, I've not made any videos like this before and I'm not streamed and just talking to a game while you play it like there's other people in the room it's a little bit weird so it's something I'm gonna have to get used to but hopefully it works and you guys don't hate me for it and think that my voice is grating can I jump to that oh hey I can nice yeah I was half expecting to slide off that I was in the Demon's Ruins in Dark Souls uh, yesterday, and <laughs> a little tiny ledge that it was like, it just looks like you should be able to run down it, and I'll be darned if I didn't slide down half that mountain. <laughs> I do appreciate the fact that <laughs> it's very forgiving, the fall damage. Alright, I am not crazy. There is a Sight of Grace somewhere near here. Because I want to try and fight the dragon. Spoiler, there's a dragon here. But I know I know there's a Sight of Grace. I want to try and get to that Sight of Grace before I fight it, so that I don't have to run all the way back from... I mean, I know there's a stake of Marka, but 
it's also like, I don't know, I don't know, this is my playthrough, I'll play it how I want. Where is it? Not a giant crab, dog. Sheep. I was gonna say deer. That's that's a sheep. They're a weird sheep, though. <laughs> they do somersaults. I am not looking up where a freaking sight of grace is because. There's one! Aha! There's one! Perfect. It's not too far. Very nice. That gets me uh, a foothold to go to Weeping Plateau. Which is normally where I go first. I don't like going straight and doing the main story on everything. And it's not because the main story is not interesting. It is. I think it's a cool concept of... Uh, what Souls games normally are. I didn't freaking rest. Of course, I didn't rest. And I just realized that I need to also put my my one flask into my other flask. I don't need a blue flask right now. I don't have any magic or anything like that. Oh, hey. So it's not only it. The Halfway Fortress. I know that's not what it's called. That's a Dark Souls 3 thing. But it's not only there. I thought... I guess it's just like... This... Fourth Grace? The graces that aren't the church at the beginning, or the, in, the inside of the tomb. What's your name again? I keep wanting to call you Marka, but that's definitely not it. This is, you know, stakes of Marka. I guess that can be one word for them. But not one and not three. Only two. <laughs> Alright, everybody needs to shush about that. Well, I don't really have many runes to give you, but... I guess I can kick a couple your way. Urge tree, that's what it's called. <laughs> Refuse. <laughs> I'm, I'm like to level up, please. Deluge or Rapids. I think Deluge is just a downpour, though. I don't think it's an actual <clears throat> river flowing. Flasks. Coliate. Okay. Yes, Coliate. Allocate. I'm, I'm gonna mispronounce stuff. Just bear with me. It's just how I've said it my whole life. Like, saying attribute instead of attribute. It's just... something I do. Because I... Uh, habits are hard to break. This is obvious. Okay. 
Alright. Let's see. Let's start by getting me up and... Well, I can only go up one level. So I was going to say let's start by uh, increasing the health to at least 500. And then we'll focus on other stuff from there. It's like, I don't think I have any spells, you know, no, no spells. This is not a faith or intelligence build. Yes. Okay. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Is it? No, no, that's not what I meant to do. Equipment. Put, well, since I don't need this flask, put that there. Talismans. Isn't there a way to like equip it to a fast, like a fast track? Is that it? Yep. Cool. What up, Torrent? Let's go, buddy. Also, the first time I played this, I... Don't be mad at me if I don't use Torrent a lot. I kind of find it... It's, like, not cheap or cheating or anything like that. I know. But it's, like... I'll only use it if I start dying a bunch and, like, having to run back to a certain spot a lot. Because I'm like, why would somebody... Did they add these giant crabs? I don't remember them being here. Like, I, I don't remember these giant crabs being here. Um, but I'm like, why would you use the steed at all times? Crap. And ignore this big, huge, beautiful world that they built. So I guess I can just press a jump to get off of him, and I'm sure there's other ways. Probably. Oh, I guess that is an Art of War one. Yep, come here. Oh lord. Oh lord. Run. Run. I get off of this guy. Okay, I can sneak. I know you're supposed to use the um Okay, there we okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I will get that Art of War Dung Beetle. After I fight the dragon. And yes, I'm gonna try and fight the dragon now. Because I'm crazy. But also because it's fun. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be the whole playthrough. So no. I've been playing for a minute, but I'm, I'm not gonna try and fight him 40 times and die. If I, if I start dying a bunch, I'll, I'll hold off on it. But I want to give it a good go. Try and, try and fight him. Like, I know he comes in us. Where the heck is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Isn't it like a, a deal or something? Everybody's like, oh my god. That guy was madness. Let's go, boy. Already not looking so great, this one. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna hit me. Oh, maybe not.
that is. Oh, maybe not. Bring it in. That hit me. Uh, this time that dodged very badly. No tail swipe. Oh, gosh. Right and left. The Madeir Fire Breath. It does spread a good bit for farther than Madeir's does. Oh, yep. No stake of Marka, I guess. I guess I was too far forward, because I know it's like back towards the Dragon Ruins. Dragon Burnt Ruins. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. Let me go grab this Crabbo boy. I'm not Crab. Dung Needle boy. What is this? Crab eggs. Come here. Ah. Oh gosh. Okay, cool. What I get? Unsheathed. Oh, it's the uh the katana one. Boy. Back off. Get out of here, crabs. Stop following me, crabs! I don't want your crabs! Crabs! Are they dogs, too? Did that come from the Borat thing? The dogs? Choke. Oh, you can absolutely get in here. There's a... Dang it! There's a... Thing. Is this the... What I think it is? It appears that it is. Fortunately, I know where this leads, so I'm gonna do this. Well, never mind, it's not the right one. This is an actual treasure chest. Ooh. Oh, and it's got a twin blade in it. Oh, and I'm a Dex character. Heck yeah. I have not found a, a twin blade, and I haven't had a Dex character to play one with. Um, I guess Samurai is kind of Dex. Standard beer slightly. Okay, so I need a little bit more dex. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, two more dex. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, no, it's uh in that hole where the uh, fun treasure chest is that I will eventually use, but not right now. <laughs> I don't really want to go to Kaled. Not tons of fun there. It is Nightmare Land. Nightmare Incarnate. Okay, I do... Whoa, hey buddy. Watch yourself there. I I do want to end this with a boss fight and try and do... <sighs> Buddy, come on. You know, at, at least one boss, even if it's not like a big boss, with each one, but... I'm trying to think of where a nearby one is. That's like n n not ridiculous. Uh, because the tree guardian I wouldn't be able to do. And the dragon seems a bit out of my league right now as well. Hold on, if I remember correctly. There is a cave up here somewhere. Shh. 
I was never here. And neither were you. But you're there now. Because that makes tons of sense. And yes, I found the cave. I was like, what is that symbol debuff thing under my stamina? It appears to be... No fast travel, I would assume. Okay, there's a wolf right there. That was interesting. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this dog's easy to beat. These wolves are easier to beat than those freaking dogs are. Ah, except for the big one. No, no big one. Whew. Then these bones, then these bones. A cracked pot! How? Game changing. I can't believe they would put a cracked pot this early. It just. That breaks the game. Glowstone. Golden Rune. Bunch of silver fireflies. I don't know what that said. I wasn't trying to read it. I was just picking up the silver fireflies, which I still don't know what to do with. I know there's like other ones as well, but my gosh, these dogs are easy to kill. Wolves. Yeah, I was gonna say it's it's right here. Right here. All right, boy. Let's go. Beast man of Faramazula. Looks like a big rat. Well, that was horribly timed by me, but luckily it still missed. Oh, he jumps forward with that attack. fourth one. Ooh, man, he could've... Yeah, in case I didn't tell you, I am not an amazing Souls player. But, I have played before. I'll just forward with that. Whew, that was a that was a close one. We did it though. Fire Drake Talisman. Pretty sure is flame resistant. I don't know. I don't have a talisman, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. Boost fire damage negation. Sweet. Very nice. Go ahead and return to the entrance. Fifteen hundred souls. And I'll uh, upgrade my decks a couple of times. I knew I said I was going to try and get to 500 health. But, dude, Twin Blade! Yeah! And I'm a dex character, so I want to try it. I want to try it out. It's going to be so cool. I haven't tried it. Uh, any any. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dexterity. Oh, man. That's okay. Because I know I got golden runes. 
What did I need? Like, eight? Yeah, so. Just one of the tiny ones. Pretty sure. Unless they're 50. Are they 50 or are they 200? They're 200. Cool. Alright. Let me equip this bad boy and see how it looks. What is... I got a mid-load right now. Let me see... Yeah, that makes me a heavy load. What about without the torch? That makes me a mid-load. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. Oh my gosh. So cool. Trying out some some combos. That's a cool. That's a pretty cool charge heavy. Okay, that just blocks. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, and I forgot there's a combo limit. On this. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five regulars. So you want to finish with a heavy. So four and then a heavy. One, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I think that is where we're going to end it. So. Wave goodbye. Ah. How do I get to the gestures? Here we go. Wave goodbye. See ya. And. I will see you guys in the next one.